marks the home stretch of the U.S. Open Golf Tournament. And Jim Ferrier of Chicago is among the early pacemakers at St. Louis. He just barely misses sinking a long one, but the sensation of the tournament is 29-year-old Lou Warsham, newcomer to the ranks of the golfing great. He burns up the course to play himself into a tie for the championship. It's a tense crowd that sees the playoff with Sammy Sneed, who for a time shows the old magic on the greens. It looks like Sammy's day. For the third time, he has the open title within reach, and he shows his lucky putter to Lou. It's the final round with everything squared as they go to the 18th green. Worsham, who has refused to say die, chips up with a beauty that just rims the cup and uh, leaves him with a two and a half foot putt. Destiny lies in Sneed's next shot. He putts two and a half feet short. Both men appear to be lying equally distant from the cup. It's so close, in fact, that Worsham asks that the distance be measured. Sneed's ball is found to be just one inch farther away than Worsham's. Under the rules, he putts first, a mere 30 inches, but the heat is on now and ever, and he misses. One of the toughest breaks in golf history. Sammy Sneed, one of the best in the game, Worsham, with the same length putt, wastes no time in canning it. Never was a playoff more closely fought. Sammy, great in defeat, congratulates a newcomer to golf's Hall of Fame. Lou, they call him the chin, collects the cup that is golf's top honor. And there's no doubt Mrs. Worsham knows who's champ. 